Hi everyone, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing what I do believe is going to be my last spread in my September Coco Daisy um, Traveler's Notebook. I'm trying to wrap up September so that I can get into my October spreads, which I should already be into. However, October Daily has consumed my desk, so I'm trying to wrap things up. So on to today's spread. This is the last page in this notebook, and there was some pretty pictures, um, graphics of daisies on here. Um, so I thought it would be a great page to document my son's sunflowers that he um, grew for this year. Um, so I tried to size down several different photos around the images of the da daisies on this paper. Um, that way the daisies can show around my sunflowers and I can use that in the spread. Um, so I did size two larger photos um, of the sunflowers. They are approximately four by four four and a quarter, maybe a little bit shorter than four and a quarter. Um, I didn't want them to take up the whole width of the page. Um, I wanted to leave some white space around it as a border. Um, so once I get those glued down, there are some elements in this kit that are honey bees or honey hives. Um, and I really like those. And even though like bees really didn't have anything to do with this spread. I just like the fact of the relationship of bees to flowers. Um, so I had to use this. So on this four by six card, there were some yellow honeycombs. Um, and I went through and I trimmed them out because I wanted to include them um, on this spread somehow. Um, I did take some time and I did cut some of these out. Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted to use them, but I wanted to have them on there. Um, I do end up using that piece right there, but I do trim it down a bit. Um, but this other little piece, I loved how this B was on there and I wanted to include it. Um, so what I decided to do was trim it down a little bit more. Um, I pulled a couple um, of the honeycombs off the ends. And then I'm also going to take on that top there so that it's not a straight edge. Um, I do decide to trim out um, some of the half of the combs that are on the top so that it doesn't look like that it's that perfectly straight edge because I loved how this looked as a border there between both of my photos. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take off those halves and then adhere those down in between the smaller and the larger photo. I just love how that looks. It's so stinking cute. So for this guy, I'm going to leave most of it together. I'm just going to trim off that top little piece, and then we're just going to go ahead and start gluing stuff down. Um, with it being the end of my notebook, I'm trying to get um, as much documented as I can so that I can get moved on. Um, and while I'm gluing these pieces down, if you look on the left-hand side there, you can see some little sticky notes. When I'm down to the end of my notebooks, this is how I flag what pages I still have empty. That way, if there's other photos that I still want to document, that'll give me an idea. I can quickly go to those pages to see what room I have left, what theme they carry, and how I can incorporate what photos I have left um, onto those pages. Um, so anyways, back to the current page. Um, I pulled out a couple of the other B elements in this kit, which were a few of these hexagon stickers, um, which I will add a few of those to the bottom of my page in the brown um, and also that lighter color. I do cut the brown one in half. Um, I like how it looks like it's falling off of the page. And then I'll add the whole one right next to it. And then the other half of that brown shape, I will actually stick underneath the edge of my photograph to help pull that darker color up my page a little bit. Um, I do have to lift this back up, but I love, I love these die cuts. They are adhesive back, so you don't have to worry about adding adhesive to them. And I just love it. It makes things so much easier. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and adhere that there underneath, tucked under my photo. Um, and then there is a bee sticker that I loved. I could have used a whole thing of those bee stickers. They're so stinking cute. I am going to stick him eventually up above that daisy there on the right-hand page. Um, but there was this three by four card that was also included within this kit. And I loved the what's the buzz with the little bee on there. So we're going to go ahead and pull that in and trim that out and add it right there to that. And that is what I'm going to use as my title for this. Um, and then in the empty box down underneath that is where I will include all of my journaling and my date about these photos. Um, so 
this guy, this is that sticker. I'm going to put him in that white space um, above the daisy there on my photo. And then I'm going to go back to my cards because there was another bee left on here um, that I am going to fussy cut out. At first, I tried to trim it out, leaving the trail behind him. Um, and then once I got it cut out and tried to put it on my page, it was just kind of like, meh. And it didn't look right, so I just ended up cutting the trail off, just leaving the little bee. And right there, you guys, <laughs> the mistake of the day, I dropped the bee right on my forehead, and it left the worst gummy residue. <laughs> I fought with that and tried to erase it off forever. So I cut that all out. Um, but the little bee there, he lives up at the top above that daisy that was printed on the paper. And then um, on the 4 by 6 card that I cut the honeycombs out, there was a sentiment on there that said, Be happy. And I couldn't let it go. I had to use it as well. And it fit perfectly um, on the top left there um, underneath that daisy. And the two like legs of the peas fit perfectly right in the honeycomb. It like it was nestled right in there. It was like it was meant to be there. So that's where it lives here in a second. <laughs> oh, I love it. It fits so perfect. So we're going to use that. Be happy on that side. Um, and then I am going to go and try to flick through some of what is left of my kit to try to add on here. But when I do this, I quickly find, because I really wanted to use that one, but I quickly find that this layout was already so busy that even that little basic yellow and white label just was way too much. So I was done. Enough was enough. Um, so I am going to come in and add my date um, using my date stamp with my archival jet black ink. Um, it is an October 2nd photo, but I don't mind adding that into my September spread because I know my October notebook is going to be jammed packed because um, we are going on a vacation and I'm going to probably be using loads of spreads with that. So we're going to add that in as my last page of my September notebook, add some journaling and call this done. Um, thanks guys so much for stopping by today. I hope you have been inspired. Um, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It really helps support my channel. And here are some close-up photos for you here at the end. Thanks again, everyone. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.